Good day, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to my show today. I have I didn't do my live show this weekend. It's been absolutely crazy because expeditions are coming, and I have four major announcements to release right now. 2023 is the year that the discovery of Sasquatch will go to a brand new level. And I'm going to tell you the four reasons why. Coming right up. Here we go. I am Todd Standing. And I'm the man who takes people out into the field and has them either live interact with their eyewitness Sasquatch. And I'm going to show you the stats and all the reasons why this year all the technology is in, all the truth is out, and this discovery goes to a new level. Stay tuned because here we go. All right, there's no wilderness, there's no backcountry today. Y'all know me, you've seen my movie, I've worked with Survivor Man, worked with the best in the world, PhDs all come out. I show people Sasquatch. We've been talking about this for years now, and the time has come. Four major announcements that I'm gonna talk about today. And we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna talk about it because this is absolutely unbelievable and huge. So, for the first time, so announcement number one. This is a done deal and I really wanna talk about this. You've heard it on my live show, and there will not be a live show this week. Because this Wednesday, I didn't do my live show last week because I was totally inundated with all this incredible stuff that's going on with expeditions. Blown away. Like barely able to keep up. They're here. They're coming. We're 10 days away from the first expedition. We may very well be five days away from the most incredible piece of Sasquatch footage ever recorded. And likely in this next month, I, can't, I have a 90% chance of filming Sasquatch like you've never even imagined. The technology is now here, and I'm the man that can get it done. But before I get into that... I want to talk about something that's just blown me away. And I'm so incredibly excited about it. And it's the all-girl expedition. And you better be understanding the importance of this. Okay? I don't know. Like, I'm a huge fan of Jane Fo Diane Fossey and Jane Goodall. Huge fan. I don't know that they ever did all-girl work. I think they may have gone out with male tracklers and always had that masculine. When I tell you that there are, right now, booked, there's three women, possibly a fourth, going on an expedition in July out into the backcountry wilderness, into my research area, well, it's not mine anymore, into the Discovering Bigfoot research area by Ashley Ann, leading these incredible women. Like, I can't even believe how amazing it's going to be. Guys and ladies, you need to understand, when, when all men get together, and it's masculine, there's, an, there's, there's, there's powerful stuff that goes on. And that's been happening with Sasquatch for a long time, with primates, with all sorts of discoveries. These ladies are going into known Sasquatch habitat. I mean, don't take my word for it. We've had... Dozens of sightings in this area. Survivor Man was out in this area and had Sasquatch around him. He filmed the top of the head of a Sasquatch in this area. Like profound, exceptional things have happened. The majority of my footage, video four, five, six, seven, and eight, all came out of this area. Watch my movie. This is the hot spot. I have gravitated to this particular spot because this group of Sasquatch live interact with people. And beautiful, amazing, wonderful Ashley Ann has had two incredible sightings and numerous live interactions with Sasquatch where they've done everything from communicate to her, to, to, to leave her structures, to take her apples, like leave her tracks, break trees for her. It's been absolutely astonishing. Look at the videos on YouTube. The woman is amazing. And she's going out on an all-girl expedition that has never been done in the history of the human species before. I was lit about last year where three people that I've trained went out without me and I witnessed a Sasquatch. That was a tremendous success for me. Now I'm teaching people. I'm showing not only does my stuff work, but when I teach people, they go out and based on what we've learned, they eyewitness a Sasquatch, right? The discovery is happening. And on so many levels, we've exploded with all these new PhDs, these new mentors and colleagues of mine. It's unreal. So the all-girl expedition, is, what I'm going to do is, as soon as it happens, I'm going to start posting it. Like what these ladies do. I, this may be a documentary feature film. What's going to happen? Because I can't express to you how, un, like this is a, likely a male dominated society. And these all girls are going to go out there. 
and they're not going to grind. They're not going to be masculine. They're not going to bleed and suffer like often happens on my expeditions. That's what we want. That's what we're, we're men. We get out there, we grind, we dig. And Ashley can do that. She's tough as nails, tough as nails. But what she has never done is gone all girl. Well, she has for a day or two here and there. She went out with a lady, had these exceptional results. And it was that inspiration that has blown this to this new level where this lady is going to come out and empower the femininity. Like that's what we as men need to do in this day and age. You know what's going on right now. And I'm not going to talk about it, but we need to show that femininity is beautiful and power and exceptional. I am so, so motivated by having a wonderful mother, an incredible sister, a beautiful daughter, the feminine in my life. And then the beautiful Ashley Ann in my life has just lit me. It makes me so powerful. I hope that I bet there's most of us men out there can understand the greatness of this and they will go out there and they will thrive and have incredible success. And this has never happened in the history of the human species before ever. So, and that's what we're going to talk about too, for even point two is, uh, we're going to do something I've never done before. So I missed the live show this week and I apologize, but let me show you something that I got here for all you all who are super excited about this, this huge giant box is the Starlink satellite dish that's going to go out into the hella middle of nowhere backcountry where there's no cell phone service. There's no, we, you have GPS and whatnot, but it's, it's, it's crazy backcountry wilderness. And we're going to have a hundred gigs of data to do live shows every Wednesday. So I'm in, so, and so, so we're clear on this. So when I do expeditions starting the beginning of June, I'm in one week out the next week, in one week out the next week from all, from the beginning of June to the end of October. That's 10 expeditions approximately. So I should get the actual number, but it's, it's in one week out the next. So I'm one week in, one week out till the end of October, till the snow flies. If I was missing my live shows this year, there'll be no missing live shows. Can you imagine how outstanding it's going to be? And, and the other thing that's going to happen too, is for my live shows, you're going to be there with the expeditioners who are witnessing this incredible success. When someone sees a Sasquatch or someone has a, a live interaction, apples taken, tracks found, breaks done, all the incredible things that the Sasquatch do. We're going to, we're going to announce it live on the live show. In fact, it'll be dark, right? There'll be wilderness all around. It'll be silent because you're in the middle of the, You'll hear a squirrel and a bird, maybe a hawk screaming in, maybe a bear will walk around, right? It's wilderness. It's backcountry Canadian wilderness. And tell me that's not excited to get about. That's so exciting to me. So I'm so thrilled to do wilderness back. Maybe that first time, who's ever done that? Who's ever taken a, star, a Starlink satellite dish into the wilderness backcountry of middle of nowhere and done live shows? I'm sure it's been done. But for Bigfoot, has it been done? For, for places where Sasquatch has been seen? So this is really, really groundbreaking stuff and i'm so excited the live shows have been so amazing on wednesday i'm so disappointed i didn't do it this wednesday and i'm not likely to do it next wednesday i can't do it this wednesday i'll be in the wilderness and that's where we come to the next big announcement that i really want you to grasp and wrap your head around so i'm going to talk about this at a little bit of length because this is this is the game changer guys i have had drones i have a drone here that looks like a lego it's, it's like a flywheel dgi i've been using these dgi drones even before dgi came out I was using an Australian drone. They've been talking chirp, 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 about how amazing they are. And they have sucked. They have been crap. They have been garbage. This, this thing is unreal. I know we're, especially with the AI, the artificial intelligence in this thing, I can literally lock onto a Sasquatch's heat signature and let the drone follow him. And, and that's what it's really come down to is, so you, this is what you guys need to get excited about. So I am a wilderness expert. Don't take my word for it. Ask the PhDs, the wilderness biologists, the wildlife experts like Survivor Man have taken out. Watch the shows. All of them have given me their stamp of approval, to say the least. I guide them. I take care of them. I've taken out over 100 expeditioners now and had tremendous success. No one ever questions my skill set in the wilderness. You take an elite level wilderness expert who spends, you know, a, half of the year out in the bush who is an expert when it comes to identifying bears, wolves, mountain lions, elk, deer, moose, pine martens, grouse, you name it. I've got tremendous experience. This is my life. And you put a thermal 4K drone, this, this drone films thermal and 4K at the same time. You put a man like that. Now I will become the world leading expert with this best drone ever made, period. There's nothing that touches it. 
I have four batteries. I could basically fly this thing all day. Charge a battery, fly it. Charge a battery, fly it. All day long, I could fly this drone. I could fly this thing for 10 hours a day. I may very well do that on expedition. The expeditioners may well be driving the truck around where we operate at a, at a three, three, uh, a six mile diameter in all directions, 360 degrees. This drone will fly and fly and fly. And every squirrel, every pine marten, every bear, moose, deer, elk, doesn't matter. We'll film it all. So the footage that we're going to get is going to be ridiculous. And a man like me who watched my movie, I, w the day Jeff Meldrum saw a Sasquatch, you understand Jeff Meldrum, a PhD, a professor at Idaho State University, after three days in the bush, after Sasquatch were following us around for three days, they showed himself to Jeff Meldrum after interacting with us for about 30 minutes right there in the bush. If we would have had this drone, I wouldn't be here right now press conferences and proof and evidence, we got it. And there is no more excuses. The next time a, a Sasquatch gets within a hundred yards of me, this happens and everything changes. This thing flies for 30 minutes in, in winds. I've been using it. I'm already, I'm very good with this drone. Wait till I come back after this next expedition. I'll fly it every day, you know, five hours a day, minimum. Every day, seven days straight, in the bush, in the wilderness, learning every single thing there is about this drone. What do you think is going to happen? I am going to get footage. I've literally been able to make an excuse, and I hate making excuses, and I apologize. But there's really nothing more I could ever do. You know, there's a Sasquatch out there. We got no technology. We have no ability to do that. Done! So, I saw a video. I'll... There's a video of a Scotsman using this, a, a guy who's going to use search and rescue. I need to tell you guys this. So this dude pulls out this drone, starts flying it. It's like eight kilometers away from him. That's five miles. He finds a guy in one minute. This thing moves like beastly fast, like 40 miles an hour. That's on slow, normal speed. It's just, as the crow flies, you get places at 40 miles an hour. No stop signs, man. Boom, you're in the air. So in one minute, he finds a guy probably five miles, eight kilometers away from him. Then about... Three miles, you know, five kilometers away from him, he finds another guy. That's at two minutes. Then at the three minute mark, he goes, Hey, let's, in his Scottish accent, let's go find ourselves a deer. That's terrible. I sound Australian, but he goes in, at the three minute mark, he finds a deer foraging in the bush, zooms in on its butt. And I'm like, and he just learned how to use it. And he's sitting in his vehicle, miles and miles away, in one direction, in, in, in 360 degrees. He's using maybe 60 degrees. You find two people and a deer in three minutes. I'm going to have hundreds of hours with this drone. I will know, every, I'll understand. The other, the other thing too, guys, is when you take a wilderness expert and you give them this technology, like I know what a bear looks like. I know what a bear moves like. I, know, I understand where they're going, where they're foraging. And I could do that with deer, elk. I know these animals. I've studied them for decades. I've been learning about these incredible species, including Sasquatch. When you get a man with that level of expertise, like I'm going to have a nature calendar like you've never saw. Aerial shots of every kind of animal like you never imagined. The moose walking around in water structures, moving past waterfalls, bears going into the most beautiful. Like I'll know everything about that whole area. Like I've never had this knowledge and ability before. Never mind the Sasquatch. How many times in Survivor Man with Jeff Meldrum, even look at, look at last year, I was going out with that incredible uh, medical doctor, Garth, Dr. Garth from California. We're out there playing Ogopogo with the Sasquatch. Those Sasquatches, there's three incredibly brilliant men with me. And we're all in agreement there's a Sasquatch within 100 yards of us, but we can't get to them. They're masters out there, guys. They have survival evasion, escape techniques, all planned. Trust me, I know about these things. I've, I've been trained in, in a military fashion by snipers about evasion and escape techniques. And the Sasquatch are the best in the world at it. But they're going to get outgunned working with this drone. And it's not about un outgunning them, though. This discovery process... When I come back with a 30 minute piece of footage, thermal and 4K, filmed at the same time with this drone, that's what it does. It's a movie. And after that footage gets shot, you know who gets a call? Survivor Man and Jeff Meldrum. They'll probably be on the next plane, right? Out here, viewing and, and, and gathering evidence about the movement of this bipedal individual, the tracks that it leaves behind, the size of it, how it moved, how long, how big it was, everything. 100 complete transparency. What do you think is going to happen? And that's where we come to point four is there'll be some major name, Joe Rogan, Mr. B, some podcaster is going to do a story on me. If not before, then after I come back with that and this discovery will explode, right? Right out of the water. 
So hang on to your pants for all of you that are watching us, all, the tens of thousands of people that have watched this video, the hundreds of thousands of people that have been believing and following this work for so long. 2023 is our year. There's, there's nothing but success on the horizon. Tremendous, incredible success. So once, once I film them, this is the other thing too, right? Once I film them, what? I have over 20 different photographs and videos of Sasquatch and counting, right? New stuff coming out, my new documentary. And when I get now, now I come back, imagine this. So I come back, I got 30 minutes of a Sasquatch moving around thermally filmed in 4k, incredible evidence, tracks on the ground, Meldrum's stamp of approval, survivor man stamp of approval, new PhD out there. And you're like, this is real, 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 real. Like it's always been. And then you go, so now what? Well, I'll film them 18 more times this year. Never going to stop. The footage will get better. The techniques will get better. This drone, they actually asked me, listen to this. Hey, would you like a two-year warranty? I said, take that two-year warranty and shove it up your gluteus maximus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up with that? Next year, the new one comes out. I will have a new DJI drone or on order next year when it comes out. This thing is so incredible. This is brand new technology, guys. This has never happened before. And next year and the year after and the year after, Todd Standing will get, be the first man with these drones. I'll be the first man out in the field in North America grinding with these drones, precipitating profound evidence. Don't doubt it. Because at this point, let me quote some stats just in case we were clear. I couldn't believe this. So this year, I have over 30 expeditioners, 30 plus expeditioners coming out, of which 12 of them are new but the rest of them are all repeats. So at this point, so I've been to doing expeditions with people independently, like after Survivor Man, after Jeff Meldrum, I started doing expeditions. So I've taken out over a hundred people, specifically on expeditions with me, not inclu including film crews, television shows, Destination America, all those different things that have come out. Even Survivor Man, I take out his film, film crew, we have tremendous success. But I've taken out specifically over a hundred people. Listen to these stats. Over 70, or sorry, 76 of them have had a live interaction with a Sasquatch. They hear a Sasquatch, uh, Sasquatch makes a call, substantiated with three, three pieces of evidence that prove it's a fact. So as in we, multiple people, three people hear a Sasquatch, Rah! right? So that's, that's significant evidence. Not enough though. Then we go out, we find a trackway. And then we find a trackway that's too big, too heavy, footprints that a human being couldn't do, and a Sasquatch moving off in a distance that couldn't be. That's one example. We find a tree break, we find structures, all the different things the Sasquatch leave behind. All I need is three facts, three pieces of evidence lead to that was absolutely a live interaction, confirmed by facts, confirmed usually by multiple individuals, multiple eyewitnesses. 76 out of 100. But that's not the impressive fact. Hold on to your socks. 31 of them have eyewitnessed a Sasquatch. It's almost one in three. That stat can be a little out though because a lot of people are return expeditioners and the more you come out on expedition, like I said, I'm only taking out 12 new people out of 30. The other, what is that? 20, uh, the other uh, 18 of them are repeat people. Incredibly intelligent, repeat people coming out here with brilliant ideas, colleagues of mine, that have exceptional abilities and understanding of this species and are helping this discovery process grow immensely. The more you come out, the more, even, even, even I got people like just thinking so, someone like James, I don't think James would ever say that he saw a Sasquatch, but he has a photograph of one. Is that crazy? Like he has a, he's a photograph. It's a blobby Squatch of a dark figure. So did he, I don't, I don't count him as seeing a Sasquatch and James had incredible action interactions, found tracks. I mean, that man, he's got, awesome stuff going on with a Sasquatch, but he's never seen one, right? Just got a photograph of one. He wasn't sure about the photograph at the time. He wasn't clear on what it was. Later on, he analyzed it and figured out, man, that's a Sasquatch. And we substantiated that with other evidence, smells, tree breaks, other things that had been going on at the same time. So incredible, amazing, over thir 31 people specifically under my guidance out in this research area have seen a Sasquatch. And I was literally, compared to what I have with this new drone, I would literally say I was walking around blind, listening, and not able to really see and understand how many Sasquatch are really out there. Like in my movie, I substantiated after Jeff Meldrum saw a Sasquatch, there were three. But was there more? Probably. They could hide their tracks from me. Guaranteed at least three individuals. I put this drone in the air, it's over. Like we've done it. As a species, humanity has discovered Sasquatch. Have a good day. I couldn't be more excited about it. And the fact that I'm going to do major interviews, other major celebrities are going to start coming out.
Like I, I, I am completely fearless when it comes to taking a person out to see Sasquatch. The biggest names in the world challenge me. Like there was nobody bigger than Survivor Man and John Benignagle and Jeff Meldrum. Those are the biggest. I literally found the biggest names in the world. I used my celebrity or I guess my, my networking capabilities to find these people. That's all I said to them. Don't take my word. I'll show you a Sasquatch. And it's been ongoing. It's continuously happening. The biggest names in primatology and science come out and see a Sasquatch with me. Some of that hasn't been made public, but it's certainly going to start going that way. So this is the year. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to announce to you that the discovery of Sasquatch is happening in 2023. Don't worry about pop culture. Don't worry about science. It'll catch up. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are going to see this footage and know it's absolutely real legit. No, that's not true. Millions of people. We're going to blow this discovery right out of the water. Do you think I'm a little bit excited? And I don't mean to sit here and sound so omnipotent, but I know what I know. I'm confident in what I can do. I have been doing this for decades now. I have the experience. I've got thousands of days of wilderness backcountry experience. I've, I've had, I've wasted tens of thousands of dollars on these drones, guys. I just wasted it. They've been crap. The thermals don't work. The, they're too loud. Like there's so many things they are too big. They don't fly long enough. They crash all the time. All those problems are done. I give DJI all the credit in the world. This is an incredible company and they have made this drone. Like it is so spectacular. I've got my insurance on it and I will make no excuses. I've got insurance. I can crash this thing 10 times and they're going to replace it. So not likely to happen though. I've seen this thing fly. It's absolutely outstanding. What an incredible piece of equipment. The discovery is here. I'm just so confident. It's ridiculous. And I'm, I'm honored to be at this level because all of us, the people that have been following me, all the researchers have been doing this for so long. It's time. A, a piece of equipment like that in the hands of somebody like me. I mean, I get sat on multiple, multiple occasions. I have Sasquatch coming around. It's happened. It happened a dozen times last year. It's going to happen 24, twice as much this year. We're going to have twice as much success. There'll be no excuses. The footage is going to be here and it's going to be much better than you can imagine because I also do the research. So the incredible piece of technology is here. A man who can get this stuff done, who on dozens of occasions on television, on national television, I had a Sasquatch within 30, 40 yards of Survivor Man on multiple occasions and people didn't, I guess they don't believe. I guess they think Survivor Man's a liar. They think I'm some kind of masterful genius, I don't know, magician, hoaxer. It's all crap, guys. It's true. I have been telling the truth. The footage is real, and it's time. We're going to break this discovery open. I know it. I absolutely, I have, there's so much even more going on that I've discussed here. So many incredible things have fallen into place. I can't believe the tremendous success that's coming this year. I am so grateful for the help and support of all of you that have been through this for all these years, all the new people that are going to come on board, and this discovery, the way it's going to break. Those of you who have been following this know what I'm talking about. The telepathy, the mind speak, the woo-woo factor that 20 years ago we couldn't talk about. We would have been laughed at. And now, now we'll see. We're not going to laugh back. We're going, to be, we're going to be patient with people that were ignorant to the reality of what's going on. The ignorance that, that, that people like Bob Gimlin and Roger Patterson went through. When ignorant people questioned the validity of the Patterson footage. When ignorant people question the validity of incredible eyewitness men and women that have been seeing this species, the Native Americans and the First Nations people here in Canada that have been saying they're absolutely real and exist. All that chastising is all gone. 2023 is the year. I knew it was coming. And now I'm sitting here, I'm standing right in front of you telling, this is it. We've done it. Congratulations. We're going we're gonna to reap what we sowed. And what we sowed was the discovery of this incredible, amazing species. High five to all of you. Get excited. The time is here. It's absolutely now. Be patient because my focus now is 100% field work. I'll get this satellite dish going as fast as I can. That's not even a guarantee. Will that thing work in the hell out absolute middle of nowhere? They say yes. Will this drone work? I say yes. I've been using it. It's actually also, this is the second DJI drone that's using full GPS that's been out there. But this is, this is the first one that has the 4K capabilities, the zoom capabilities, and the thermal abilities all tied into one. And it's another level of AI that's better than the DJI drones from last year significantly. It's a big step up. And I'm telling you this 
because I've been using this thing and I'm experienced with this equipment and it's, it's exceeded my expectations. So discovery is happening. The discovery of Sasquatch is real. It's happening right here, right now, 2023. In six months from now, there'll be press conferences. There'll be Joe Rogan's. There'll be podcasters. And I'll tell you something else. I've been in the media four times before. I've been exploding worldwide headlines. It's coming. As sure as corn chitlins in June. I don't even know what that means. But I love the southern United States. And uh, this is going to happen. I will do these interviews. And and what happens too is I'll do some major news story. Some, some Joe Rogan. See, now the power has shifted. CTV News, CNN, BBC, they're very, very small time. You know, Russell Brandt, Joe Rogan, Mr. Beast, just to name a few people, they have, they have significantly more power than these major media corporations who we don't really trust and believe anymore, and rightly so. They've lied to us and cheated us. So I'm going to go, and once one of these amazing human beings, podcasters, huge show jumps on board, they'll all jump. I'm going to tell you, Todd Stanning is going to do all the shows like he did before. I was on Global News, then I was on CTV News, then BBC did a story on me, then the French News did a story on me, CNN, MSNB, all of them did stories. Once one jumps, they all jump, and I will be prepared to do all those stories, to propagate and push the reality of this incredible discovery. That's my promise to all of you that are here watching this right now going, oh my God. Either either this is an incredible, exciting time, and it's amazing, and and I'm guys, you're, you're not speaking to some, some greenhorn, man. I've been out there. I've bled. I know the wilderness. I'm not, I, I feel like a young man, but I'm tremendously experienced. I'm telling you, as a guy who's been out there, who's bled, who's, who's pushed the limits, who should have been dead 20 times, who's come back with over 20 videos and pieces of footage and all these incredible stats. Over 30, 31 people have eyewitnessed a Sasquatch because of this knowledge and training, because of this discovering Bigfoot information. It's just going to grow. 76 people know Bigfoot are real. 100% convinced, right? That's been, a, that's been a long time coming, and we're about to explode. We literally, we've brought it up to this level, all of us, all the men and women. I see Colorado Bigfoot, Roger Krieger. I see all incredible people out there busting their ass, fighting for this discovery. We are literally down here, and 2023 is going to put us up to a level where it's just going to blow my mind, and I'm not going to be the slightest little bit surprised right? Thank you very much for tuning into my video today. So much more to come. First expeditions in less than 10 days. I'm going out with three incredible hunters. These guys are amazing. I'm so excited. Then after that, we start the PhDs. We start the lady expeditions. We start with all these amazing wilderness experts, biologists from all over the world coming out this year. It's going to be absolutely amazing and astonishing. Thank you very much for taking the time to tune in. Stay tuned for more. It's all coming.